I was good to her, man. So listen, there are a lot of black women out there who go through abusing relationships, right? Not just black women, but women in general. And when somebody big and influential as Megan Thee Stallion came out say that she got abused by Tory Lanez, she got shot, those kind of women would take that personally. I mean, trust me, there are women outside protesting for Megan Thee Stallion. According to the new reports that just came out, it's just not looking good for Megan, right? At first, she said, I've never fucked Tory Lanez. See, first, the defense goes, they're not telling you about half of what's going on the most important thing they're not telling you about they're not telling you about an eyewitness who saw two women fighting kelsey and meg and so let's talk about why they're them two are fighting let's talk about how she was in the front seat the gun was caught in the front seat let's talk about how she might have gunpowder she does have gunpowder let's talk about how this has nothing to do with the fight between tori and meg and everything to do with the fight between meg and kelsey and then the defense starts dropping the bombs he basically says this that they're in the car yeah they left but do you know why they left they left because kylie and Tori were in the pool together. And Kelsey and Meg both felt some type of way about that to the point that Meg felt really some type of way about that. And she was really trying to go to the point that eventually, because of how Meg is acting, this is according to the defense, Kylie Jenner goes to Meg Thee Stallion and says, it's time for you to leave. They all leave. The defense's point is what happens in the car is this. Tori questions Kelsey. Hey, Kelsey, why are you backing up Meg? for me trying to, you know, get it on with Kylie Jenner. Meg has been snaking men from you your whole life. I hooked up with you, Kelsey. And then Meg went behind your back and hooked up with me. And Kelsey, this is not the first time. You have been hooking up with Ben Simmons. Meg went behind your back and hooked up with Ben Simmons. You have been hooking up with the baby. Meg went behind your back and hooked up with the baby. And so the defense starts dropping all these grenades. The crowd is captivated. The jury's like, oh, what's going on? And there's every reason to believe that there could have been a fight here, not between Tori and Meg, but between Meg and Kelsey. And the shooting could have not been Tori. It could have been done by any one of the other people in that car. What does all of this mean? Well, I'll tell you a couple things. First, Corey Gamble, Chris Jenner's husband, is going to testify, so this will continue to be must-see TV. Two, the judge is terrific. I expect a very fair trial. The lawyers uh, on the defense side are terrific. I don't know what the government lawyer was doing, giving an opening presentation that made it seem like the most open and shut case ever, when in fact there are huge questions, including an eyewitness who saw two women fighting, suggesting that you have to explain that theory to the jury and you didn't so i don't love the prosecution's opening in that you know the most memorable thing about megan and stanley in career for the past two years is she a black woman who got abused by a nigga right we gotta be honest with that i just don't remember any five or three songs from megan and stanley right she built that career off being a black woman who got abused by a man so i feel like it's gonna be a fraud to black women who face the same thing if she lied in this situation man